Hi guys, welcome to Rum Plays. I'm Rum and Me, and today I'm sharing with you some footage of Gwent. Gwent is a card game which is included in the popular RPG Witcher 3. This footage was recorded live on Twitch, so be aware the commentary reflects that. And this was my very first look at Gwent, having never played Witcher. I know, shame on me. These tutorials were literally my first look at the game, so please watch to learn the controls and how to play as well as am I fumbling my way through. I'll then do a follow up video which shows me actually building some understanding of how to play Gwent and how I've learned to be successful in it. So thanks for watching, enjoy and um, I'll catch up with you guys shortly. Thank you. Peace. This is all new for me, we are going live on Gwent. I almost forgot its name there and we're live on Twitch, I've just put a quick tweet up there just to let folk know that I'm now going live. So let's see what happens. Here we go then. Gwent. Ooh, a tutorial, that'll help. If you're in a hurry, you can skip it by pressing that. I don't want to skip. Time is locking. Mall struggle on the field of battle. Goal is to win two rounds against your opponent. <laughs> Both halves and you win the game. Personal battle. These are units. Personal battlefield increases your total strength. Play one card per turn. Once this is done, is the other player's turn. Your opponent will play first in this match. Okay, each unit has an assigned position, determining which row it can be placed on. For example, the Vram Warrior can only play it on the melee row. Okay, cool. Vram Warrior card can only be placed on the ranged row. Griffin card can only be placed on the C draw. Okay, icons on the left side of the card. Okay, so I've got two melee cards. Play the Grout card now by hand highlighting it and pressing A. Mm, I hate portals. And play Grout and strength has been added to your total, which means your total strength is now higher than your opponent's. Okay, this, this sort of game's all new for, to me, so you'll have to bear with me. What? Okay, fair enough. Don't really make sense yet, but okay. Tutorials are there just to let you get to grips with things, obviously, so hopefully things will come a little clearer. As we carry on, see how we go. Okay, in this game you'll learn about advanced card mechanics and round dynamics. Oh, but I'll start with a mulligan. During this phase, you can swap put three cards you don't want in your hand. In the next battle, for new cards drawn from your deck. I'm swapping out the decoy commander's horn on first light cards. Okay. Commander's Horn. First light. Good strategy is to open by playing a strong card. This way, your opponent will have to play a high strength card to match total. Mm, I hate this per card that musters more cards to the battlefield. This means all copies of this card in your opponent's deck will instantly appear. Using their strength, put them in a rush card now. Touch enemy units to damage. Temeria, that's what matters. Strength to zero is destroyed, sending it to the graveyard. Hey! 
Best give up now. That's why special cards got cards are the strongest unit on the battlefield. It's actually not fit Grail Vernon or because those are gold cards. Gold cards are immune to most card abilities. You can recognise them by the gold border. Losing round does not mean you've lost a battle. It's only two out of the three rounds. Okay. Resistance is futile. That was some poor advice, wasn't it? Two cards from there. You can use them. Only either of your opponent. They only have a few cards left. Only you have many. I thought something your opponent was just fast enough I'm playing in my class. And third round that means both you and your opponent draw one card. Aye aye sir. Kind of a more basic game than I expected. I'm a bit confused, to be totally honest. Um, I don't really know the Gwent game anyway, but just from what I've seen, it seems that there's. I don't know, I guess there is tactics to it in playing the different skills and that on your cards, but overall, it's, it's just a game of higher world. numbers. Close range! Let me make sure last little non gold, non fleeting. Okay. Use what you learned in a previous match and swap out cards that you don't want to use. Okay. Start by playing a unit. Long live, etc., etc. As dead as a creature. I usually lead her end your turn just like playing a guard. Choose a non spine bronze unit on your side of the field, spine is that copy in the same. Press those burning!
Barkley with her feather moves with her from one row on both sides. Song has been added to your hand. There are some gold units on the row. It was an even later, your point in now past the win. <laughs> okay. Them effects are definitely making it a bit more interesting. It's literally just a game of maps. Temeria. That's what matters. It's silly that my gold ones, I guess. Why has it skipped all my turns? Well, I didn't expect that. Oh, oh dear. Best give up now. You can play games against other players, either using pre-made decks or once you build yourself with the deck builder, good luck and have fun. Keep us the barrels in the... this land! <laughs> Buying kegs and opening them. Human soup soup eat? Yum yum, healthy soup. He is ugly. Choose one of three cards. The card choose will go to your collection when the others will be destroyed. Ahoy, 
Welcome to the deck builder. Here you can pull together new decks or modify existing deck. A new deck. There's factions. Each faction has unique cards which only can use. All factions can use neutral cards. Choose a faction via deck. Do you want to use this deck and press A to continue? Okay, let's all the cards you've collected are shown here. This card fills just one of specific types of cards. Can you get cards from your collection to it or remove cards you don't want back to your collection? So the card from your collection to your deck, do so by highlighting and pressing A. Valid deck shows the deck limitations. I think it's about their speed. This should be the same deck. Feel free to experiment with different cards and deck configurations, but it goes. Next, more speed to leave. Menu to preview the cards. I think they built a mill on one cards. Okay, cool. That is the tutorial then. Cool, happy days. Okay, campaign's locked. Long live, etc., etc. <laughs> Fine. Humans. Let's get this over with. of me. That's boosted, I can't remember which. Close ranks! Um, yeah, I just don't think we've got the cards to do this, to be honest.
So they're all gonna keep getting one. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I think maybe I've missed the point a little bit with this one. First game though, so there we go. And there we have it, folks. The tutorial taught me nothing, and I will lift with my pants down. Things did start to click in my brain, and noticed the error of my way pretty quickly, though. A couple of games later, and I was winning the game. Want to know how? Check out my next video when I drop it live in the next couple of days. I'll tell you how to win at Gwent, at least on a basic starter level. I'll go into detail of how to play to win and give my overview of what I think of the game. Watch this space. I'll catch you all real soon. Peace out.